Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. Today we're gonna to be going over volumetric fog in Redshift, but we're gonna give a bit of a twist on it and I'm gonna show you how to use a utility material that's not used very often to get a bit of a more realistic result. So in our scene right now, we have a bunch of buildings. These are from our modern cityscape collection, which you can get at the Pixel Lab. So to do volumetric lighting, there's quite a few different fog tutorials out there, so I'm not gonna go into super detail, but basically all you need is a Redshift object, Redshift environment. So the environment is where you're gonna add your fog and then you need a light source to generate that fog. So I have an area light here and our area light right now is just below the buildings pointing upward at them so we can get kind of a nice moody look. So to have this light uh, generate the fog, all we have to do is go to the volume tab and look at that contribution scale. And if we kick this up, this light is gonna contribute to that environmental fog. So it has to be a very small number, probably like 0.01 and then that light is going to generate our fog. So right now it's too bright, so let's go to our Redshift environment and let's play with the settings. So attenuation and phase are the two big ones. Attenuation, if we kick that to 0.01, it should dial that back a little bit. And now we're getting that really nice moody, foggy look. Uh, the phase is basically, if you put it to the right here, it's going to cover up all those uh, buildings in the distance. And if you go to the left, it's going to uncover them. So it'll be pushed a little bit further back, that fog. So that's what the phase does. And we can, of course, tint this if we want a little bit of an orange look. All right, so here's our fog. Um, now these buildings in the front are pure black and that doesn't quite look right, but this area light isn't hitting them, so it's not getting that volumetric fog look. So let's actually go to our sun and let's add a little bit of a contribution from that sun, just a very little bit, maybe 0 0.001 and that's gonna add a little bit of volumetric fog onto those buildings in the front and they'll blend in a little bit better. All right, so this is looking really nice and this is where we're going to start playing with that new material. And if you go to Redshift under Materials, there's a Utility section and there's a Noise Volume. And if we double click that Noise Volume, you can see it made a new texture. And this texture is just a noise. You can think of it kind of like a sprite that's going to break up the pattern of your fog. So we're gonna take that material and we're gonna drop it onto that Redshift environment. Once we do that, it's gonna turn black and white and we're gonna get a noise pattern in our fog. So the black and white is generated from the noise here. And also, if we go to the coordinates, you can see that the scale is quite small, so we'll change this to say one on all the scales and we should get a much bigger pattern here. And then what we can do is go to our noise and play with the noise type, maybe change that to fractal. And now we're getting a nice breaking up of that volumetric fog. So then we can go to our color and we can change that back to that orange color if we want to. And this is going to be um, pretty obvious with the black kind of the splotches, but if we take our second color, make it the same color, but then just drop it down in darkness a little bit. This way you're gonna get a bit of that kind of noise pattern, but it's gonna be pretty subtle. All right, so let's go to that area light and maybe kick up the contribution a little bit just to make it brighter. So now you can see the result. We have that really great fog look, but it's starting to be broken up a little bit, which gives it a little bit more realism. So I really like adding that texture onto the Redshift environment. Hope you guys found that useful, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.